Final topic of the night. We're going to get the Be- car and go watch it. Before we go, before the break, LeBron James, there was a phone call from Golden State to the Lakers about LeBron James. They wanted to make a deal for LeBron. And they told the Golden State Warriors to call Rich Paul. Which tells me that LeBron, the Lakers were open to trading him. But LeBron James said no. Are you surprised? Uh, no, I'm not surprised. The man likes it in L.A. Everything is good for him. His son is there. His family is there. He's not going to go to state. Do we want to play with Steph? I think yes. But he can go there next year as a free agent. There's no rush to get there. I think they have a good thing in L.A. Um, what we talked about last time, I said um, the Lakers are the – I think they, in a seven-game series, they're the toughest team to put out besides the Nuggets. If they get to the playoffs, as they should, uh, you know, because they might be in a seven or eight playoff seed, you know, play the playing game. But if they get in the playoffs, I don't think any team matches up with them, like, directly. Like, oh, that team could de- is definitely going to take them out. I think they have a fighting chance against everybody else besides the Nuggets. So why would he want to leave them to go to a team – that right now is below them. They're not going to have all those players that's there besides him and Steph. And that might be good enough to get it done. And I would love to see it. But I definitely think you have a better chance in L.A. They have a nice roster. d has been playing amazing. Austin Reed's been playing good. Hachimura has been playing great as a starter. They finally made him a starter where he should have been the whole time. I don't know what the hell the problem was of holding him back from not being a starter. But, yeah. Pencil them in as the second best team in the West. So I just got a producer note. JJ Reddick does not regret what he said about Doc Rivers. I love it. <laughs> I love it. You know what? Double down, baby. <laughs> if you believe some shit, say it. I have no problem with it. As far as LeBron, I'm actually kind of proud that he said he, he turned that down. I, I'm actually happy that he did. Because if he didn't, it would have been it would have looked ridiculous. Like, bro, you 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 really don't believe in yourself. Like you, you really, that, that to me, that's a complete acknowledgement that I can't get this done by myself. I can't get this done. And really, let's be real. The Lakers aren't going anywhere. But Steph Curry, now who would they have traded? I'm, I'm sure Jonathan Kamingo might have been involved in that trade. Uh, I, I don't know. Would, would Draymond have been in that trade? Would that would 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 Ket Clay Thompson? Have, I don't know who they would have included in that trade. I think Kaminga would have had to have been included in that Clay trade. Um, but I'm actually happy that he would say no because when I heard it, I was like shocked. Like, well, really, they would like the Lakers saying that they call Rich Paul just tells me that, that they're open to doing it um, because I think they've I think they've had enough of this. Then the Lakers are are, are done with the LeBron exper- ex- experiment and experience. Because he wears on franchises. He's tough to deal with. It's proven. He's tough to deal with. He's very, very diva-ish. In Miami, let's be real, he left for a few reasons. One of the reasons was that we would not hire, well, we as the Miami is, we're both Heat fans, would not hire his, his bestie to be, his, be, to, to be an employee for the Heat. They wouldn't let him travel with the team, his secretary or whatever the guy is. So... And then, you know, they, Miami let go of Mike Miller, even though Mike Miller was completely completely washed out. Like, big deal. You let go of a guy that wasn't playing. Like, what are you talking about? So I, he's a tough individual to deal with, and he seems to always want what he wants when he wants how he wants it. So I am actually impressed that he said no to this and says, I'm going to stick it out with these guys and let's see what happens. You know, I don't think they're going anywhere, but I, I, I actually am impressed, and I, and I applaud him for that. God forbid, imagine that. Two compliments in one podcast for LeBron James. It's amazing, huh? Coming around. I'm not, I'm not, I, I don't sit here with agendas and or anything like that, but I keep it I keep it a buck. I, he has my heart and soul. And yeah, I would still trade Tyler Hero for him right now, you know, on a on a player for player. You know, you're talking about a 24 year old or 25 year old for a 40 year old. I will draft. Ronnie but, James. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Right. Oh, my God. On Jesus any Christ. To get LeBron James. I, will, I don't care. I would not. I'll waste, I'll waste any pick that's beyond a lottery pick to get Ronnie James. And, and you pick, you use a first-round pick on a kid that's averaging six points on a I bad mean, college team to know. hopefully have one season with LeBron. Two seasons with LeBron. He's not playing two seasons. Why not? 
He's waiting for the. He's forty years old, man. So he can't play till he's forty-one. Robert Parrish, 44, 43. LeBron. Did you just compare Robert Parrish, who was playing like six minutes a game, to a guy who you expect to carry your team? No, he don't have to Come carry on, my man. team in Miami. He has to be the third, second. Did you say he's the third, the third scoring option? No, he could definitely come in and, and, and dish the rock. He's still going to score. LeBron is not stopping. He's the machine. LeBron is going to retire in the next two years. Okay. It's done. So, you can see it. Like, you can he, see the regression coming. I mean, you can't yeah, change it. Points per game. His son's not even any good. I don't care. Like, what are you doing? I don't care. Give me him. Oh, LeBron. my God. Right now. As long as my pick not a lottery pick. And if it's <laughs> outside lottery, like 13, 12, 11. Give me you give an 11th pick on a kid that's averaging 26% from I'm three in college? Him. I'm drafting his dad. That's why. But I'm you're gonna... not because if you freaking draft his dad and you don't win in the next year or two, then what? You have a freaking – he's retired and you have a player that can't play. That's why we have to be a playoff-ready team. Miami Heat. <laughs> Come on, you man. think LeBron? You think LeBron James is going to go to a team where his son is bench warming Come on, and not home. playing with him? Come on, home. Come on, home. No, no. I'm saying, do you think LeBron James? The goal was to play with his son, can, not to have his son massaging the chair with his ass. I can find while he, five minutes for LeBron. <laughs> what is this little league, Nick? I find five. Are, are we are we five, playing I nine now? Is this I nine? Josh Richardson, five, five, find five minutes. Josh Richardson would take Bonnie's lunch, and I don't even like Josh Richardson that much. Come on. 